Hello, welcome back to Ben C. Life Learning. In this episode, I want to show you the node tree that cr can create this kind of um, exploded view effects uh, with the latest version of geometry nodes in Blender 3.0. Okay, the nodes is, itself is really simple. Um, and what are these? I will explain very quickly. So this is like uh, five different objects. Each one of them has a different seed of explosion. Okay what's being exploded it's the these assets that i borrow from this is blender it's a sketchfab user called blender 3d it's a simple disk rack so i downloaded this it has animations uh, which is quite funny as well um originally it's just a simple disk rack like this okay uh, apparently the, the the 3d model is actually already kind of broken up in through different parts which is kind of interesting you can you can actually merge all of them back into one but what I did here is to yeah simply use it for exploding effect so like I said it's a geometry nodes each one of them has different seed because I'm piping the seed out and what's actually happening here if I zero out everything so it we are back to this simple this rack okay uh, with the latest version of geometry nodes we have something cool with that you can operate on instance scale rotate and translate so all the transform each one of them can operate on individual child objects so if you have like an object like this uh, this rack and then if you separate all of them into different parts uh, you can then uh, just simply operate on those instance directly using uh, geometry nodes so this is exactly what's happening uh, set material we already know translate instance we can translate it and we can also scale let me try scaling you see it's, uh, it's actually scaling each individual uh, instance so that's really cool and we have translate I didn't use rotate in this case um, I simply grab the collections of this rack and I, I specify to separate the children there's also reset the children uh, don't worry about that for now separate the children is good enough and then we can translate it in the minimum and the maximum in the vector so it is like random value so we have this exploding kind of effects yeah pretty cool um, these effects can be used in many different ways let me try make a simpler example so in regards to instance so this is the default cube right we just delete um, let's create a string string to curve let's say hello so we have this hello let's save this very quickly text instance let's take a look at the geometry nodes spreadsheet so like I said with the text objects each one of them is already like separated instance so this is what really cool about it we can fill the curve we can fill it we can fill at the curve to give it a little bit of personality okay now each one of them is an instance so we can instance scale boom suddenly it works even though the pivot okay we we need to control the pivot, I guess uh, the center can be specified, but for now don't worry about that, just use random value, just plug this into the scale, right? So we can randomize the size of each letter, ideally they st stick in place, but uh, don't worry for now. You can also transform oops instance 
translate okay that's the name translation uh, this one is actually an offset of original position so remember yeah remember that it's an offset so we can offset it by minus and offset it by plus there we have a shake shake letters of this font and this is all all the nodes needed anything okay so that's with the text how about other things like uh, uh, the this track right we uh, before we go back to the this track let's try icosphere I want to separate all this uh, face the face of this object so we can use edge split I think zero out if we if we do that and then apply you will see the face of this object is separated we can actually do the same thing um, but for now for simplicity I just use this and then move it into new collections and call it blah now I will create a new cube so I'll I'll put it to the side and I'll use geometry nodes I want to bring this guy as collections drag and drop collection info info blah plug it in now this guy is becoming the icosphere uh, sky, with the all faces separated and you can see here under spreadsheet oh apparently we only have one instance but if we separate the children and I forgot okay I, I need to separate all the faces so I go to edit mode hit tab right click separate by loose parts so now if you go back you can see this is collection itself just the icosphere this is with the separated children cool let's save this very quickly example icosphere and let's use our instance let's try scale scale uh, we are scaling we are expecting it to scale each one individually right <clears throat> in order to do that each of these object actually uh, have a pivot So select all this guy that's already been separated and then right click <coughs> set origin to geometry. <coughs> we need to do that. Okay, now we are set. Now we are able to do this. Okay, very cool. Random value. Plug this into the scale. We can have this different scaling for each individual instance of the uh, the child instance child of these objects okay so that's a uh, pretty handy uh, definitely uh, useful we can control the center of course and also let's try rotate we haven't used rotate rotate instances because we have all the separate children instance we have actually how many just hover instances 80 so we have 80 instances that we can rotate individually so this is uh, also kind of effects that you can play around with uh, kind of like a flip flip effects or some kind of origami effects uh, rotate in scale and then translate with translates the same same deal and this uh, this is actually the offset from the original position okay so that's the second example let's try and for each one of them you can always use vector randomize and all is seed right 
geo let's use if you use geo geometry in group input the seed can be randomized for each one of these Okay, so that's how I did the this rack effect actually. Let's go back to separate instance. This rack, like I said, originally it's a uh, it's already pretty fancy. I mean, it's all separated. It's like being exploded, but maybe in our case we can let's just join all of them and then go to edit mode separate by loose part oops actually merge vertices by distance and then separate by loose parts now we have what uh, probably more expected and then set origin to geometry so each one of them has their own center pivot and Okay, let's see with this guy. You can join them. Okay, cool. Save. We have something that's less abstract now. If we just reveal. Okay. Yep. So it's almost like back to the original. In this case, actually the the artist, the animators uh, is using bones armature. That's actually something I want to do in the future with geometry nodes. In this case, anyway, it's a uh, it's using the instance of this kitchen rack, separate all the children, and then randomize the value. Okay, so that's really what's going on. I'm actually using Solidify in this case. We don't actually need Solidify anymore. Uh, it's okay, I just leave it there. So with the random value here, we have two value to control, right? Let's uh, let's just simplify that thing. Mm, use a value. And use math. Multiply this by... Mm, this is the math. Multiply by minus one. Plug this into the minimum. So minimum and maximum is now being controlled by a single value which you can you can actually pipe outside yeah the thing with a value like this i think uh, it's a good, always a good idea to just use math so we can pipe this value this is the offset this goes there this goes there So for each one of them now we have this value to control the explosion the explosion actually currently it seems to be exploding from each individual location so it's being translated using the vector i think there's a way to center it so it's like exploded from a single pivot Yeah, I think this is kind of anyway we need to have separate children and we can reset the children into its original pivot it could be useful but in this case anyway now we have all these random objects being scattered and we can randomize the seed pretty cool actually one two three four and we can actually reuse this into if you put this inside a new collections you can randomly scatter them if you know a little bit of simple python you can randomize the seed and the value to create a different variants so there you go that's a really cool this rack 
and thanks again for Blender 3D. This artist actually says all the assets here is random objects. Everything will be free for download and use. Okay, so pretty cool. Again, uh, thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.